We've now designed, built, and maintained literally hundreds of intranets at this point. And we know that it takes a lot of work. So it's incredibly important that you extract maximum value from your intranet and make sure that employees adopt it. And one of the first objectives is to make sure that you create an engaging homepage. One that will lead to people using the platform and allow you to get maximum value from your intranet. And in this video, we're going to look at some tips to help you achieve that. Designing an engaging homepage. Now, as we look at this intranet homepage, one of the first things you might notice about it is that we're looking at it in Microsoft Teams rather than in a browser in SharePoint directly. And that's because you should be really thinking about whether or not your intranet should be delivered through Teams. Many organizations nowadays, uh, you know, their, their employees, particularly if they're knowledge workers, um, are living inside of Teams almost. They spend a lot of their working day there. And it makes sense to uh, make the intranet more readily available directly on the Teams app rail, for example. So you're just removing barriers there and making sure that people are more likely to be able to get to it easily and quickly. And as we look at the page itself, um, first of all, we, we start with a typical mega menu for navigation. And it's important to have these mega menus to organize your content because it gives people an easy to scan way of understanding the, the breadth of information and, uh, and, and more easily choose where they're going to dig into. So navigation um, is, a, is a big part of making a, an engaging intranet. Um, but then also, as we go down the page, we have um, the sort of facilities type announcements or alerts that can kind of appear uh, periodically when certain things happen. Um, they don't all, it's not always there, but it just appears when certain events happen, such as fire alarm testing, and they're audience targeted at uh, particular groups uh, that they're gonna be relevant to, so that it's not basically adding noise for people to whom that isn't relevant. And that's one of the key things that we often hear when we're doing research about intranets is that employees say, everything that's on the intranet, most of it's not relevant to me. Uh, so we need to make sure that our homepage actually changes that and that we do have stuff that is relevant to different groups of people. Uh, and that brings us on to the next element that we see here on the homepage in this area here, which is this welcome bar. So this um, is just a simple message saying, you know, good afternoon, Christopher in this case. Um, it, so it's, it's, it's indicating that this intranet is personalized and it has personalized features. And that won't always be that clear when people first arrive at a page. So that kind of visual cue or indicator can be very useful. And on the right, which is quite high up the page, we have this um, app launcher called My Apps. Now, the idea of this is that you can basically show um, company approved apps and services to different groups, depending on which ones you think that they would be using. And, um, but also I can personalize this. So I can click and edit it and I can actually customize that list and, and change the order and either add additional company approved apps from a centralized database or even add my own links to things like websites that I might use frequently. So I'm kind of creating a launch pad or a personal favorites bar here that is basically gonna be more useful to me um, or make the internet more useful to me as a daily work tool and that's another key thing around making an internet engaging and driving adoption is having these things that are useful on a day-to-day -day basis not just about you know, be becoming informed on what's going on in the company uh, but also having stuff that is, is has utility on the left you know it's still important obviously here to actually still inform people about what's going on in the business too. So we normally have something like this carousel, which has this kind of the big headline stories or maybe features that we want everybody to see. And quite a lot of real estate is given to that. And there's an opportunity here to use you know, branded branded imagery that, that ties into the overall color scheme of your of your site and really makes the intranet feel on brand, like, you know, like your website's an extension of your brand just internally. And so, yeah, having that sort of the large space for images and that sort of thing can really help create a more engaging design. And also, it also has the, the benefit of breaking up the page a bit more, giving a bit more space to the elements so that it's not just, you know, lots of tiny details everywhere and it, it mixes it up. So it is important to get a mixture between, you know, use of iconography, um, imagery, you know, photography, and also just text. Um, and it's like combining them in, in the ways like you see here with good balance 
that makes the intranet more uh, easy to scan and more engaging uh, to the employees. And as we scroll down the page, we then see something called the dashboard, which is pro provided by um, Viva Connections. Now, the idea with this is that it summarizes information from other platforms, other apps um, that is uh, relevant to me so that I don't have to go into those separate apps to check for the updates. So things like, you know, there's a task here that is, uh, is, is due for me. Uh, there's two updates on side to my T service tickets that I've submitted. Um, I can see also that I've received kudos or like recognition from a peer and I can see I've got an upcoming desk booking and so all these things are being handled by different apps actually but um, having them summarized in this dashboard on the intranet really makes the intranet more useful again as a daily work tool it's somewhere that I want to go to because it actually provides me with a, a, a bunch of services that I would otherwise have to jump around to get that information um, so you can take this a step further as well. You can actually make it so that I can perform an action here without actually leaving the internet. So if I was to do something like click to uh, give kudos or, or recognize a peer, a, a form pops up and I actually, actually you know, fill that out and carry out that process fr with from here without leaving the internet, which is another thing that's great in terms of making an engaging internet and, adopt, and having people adopt it is make sure that you can you know have them complete things on the intranet as much as possible without having to go elsewhere and we have on the right people directory we know that you know you you probably know that you can search for people at the top of the page um either in teams or sharepoint and it will find people uh, but often you, you know employees are actually looking for a dedicated people search tool or people directory and so providing them with something very highly visible on the home page like that can help when make sure that people know the capabilities that the internet has um, straight up and then as we go down there's an example panel here of the kind of thing that you might feature on your internet home page where you think that you know your if your internet has a kind of like a a particular focus or a killer app then you can surface it on the internet homepage and you can basically do things like show policies that I must read you know policies that I need to click through to and attest to say that I've read and understood them um, and also uh, the LMS is a big feature of this intranet um, in terms of the services it provides so I can actually see information about how my my training is going and the status of my direct reports how they're getting on and then if I click into view training catalog then I can actually browse the full course catalog if I was to do that. And at the bottom we have some more news, which is basically tailored or personalized to me as an individual based on you know, the groups I'm in, like my department, my location, you know, what country I'm based in and so on. And on the right, I see a, a Viva Engage feed, which is basically what used to be called Yammer. So this is an, an, another dimension to the internet content here. So I'm getting a feed of conversations and questions from colleagues across you know, the whole organization that is relevant to me. Um, and it is it could be stuff that's more social. Some organizations would use this for things like sports and societies, fundraisers, that sort of thing. Um, but it could still be work related, just not as tightly defined as something like a, you know the communication on a project or a particular program of work it could be something that's more like a knowledge area that I'm interested in and I want to discuss with colleagues in other countries that say that I don't actually know personally um, and it's it, it's a way of collaborating and sharing information and knowledge and just at the bottom here last thing to mention is that sometimes you know you do just want to call out some links to key content on an internet home page and it's okay to do it with text links particularly if you uh, have already a lot of imagery and icon iconography on the page you need to mix it up and you need to make sure that you sometimes just use more straightforward presentation styles let's look at some other internet home page design examples now we can see with this one that there's a very strong sense of branding. So we've used something called uh, Lightspeed 365 Brand Customizer to apply additional graphics and, and effects like you know a, a behind the menu. Um, and it goes beyond what you can do with out of the box Microsoft uh, 365 um, you know, SharePoint controls for, in terms of changing the look of the page. Um, but you know, you, there are still things that you can do with the out of box tools. You know, you can change the color scheme, you can change background colors and so on and link colors, that sort of thing. So, um, so you hit here, we see, you know, a slightly different approach in terms of the branding. Um, there's a lot more space given than my previous example to the sort of news and updates at the top of the screen It has the full width. So it doesn't have that app launcher. 
Um, typically, you know, you will find that like if your if your intranet uh, or or the organization has a, a big focus on on brand and imagery and and there's lots available potentially as well um, that, that you can afford to have more real estate to get given to that sort of thing. But um, as we scroll down the page, we used to have a similar thing in here in terms of this Viva Engage feed. Uh, sometimes it might be called something different because different organizations may or may not want to refer to it by the name of the product. Um, this is a kind of aviation uh, company. And so they actually have some kind of critical business systems that operate all the time. Well, they hope they operate all the time. And there's actually a system status notification. So it lets you know if those platforms are down at any time, uh, which is some, something that's very important to this organization to know that those, you know, the status of those um, systems. So it's one of, an example of one of those kind of key features or killer apps that you want to surface on your internet homepage and do so in a way that makes this useful and engaging. And we also have people find that we saw a similar thing on the previous example. As we scroll down the page, we sometimes you know use things like these call out banners or billboards on pages um, to highlight a particular feature or area of content that might be new or we think is particularly noteworthy for employees. And that can help also break up the page visually. And at the bottom, you'll see we've got this kind of graphic at the background um, that creates this long footer. And I think really adds again a lot of the sort of the, the brand uh, appeal to the uh, intranet and makes it feel much more like a website. So this homepage design immediately looks very different. And that's because it's got this kind of dark theme uh, or contrast. Um, so it is possible with Microsoft uh, SharePoint out of the box, change the look. Uh, to do this sort of um, yeah darker theme, um, it kind of suits the the sort of the subject matter um, the, at hand here with this organisation, which is a motorsports company. Um, so yeah, it can really add quite a lot of a, a difference in terms of the look and feel. And um, again, you know, this is might be something that their their corporate website has a dark theme, and you're mirroring that, and therefore it it feels much more aligned with the brand to do so. Um, and also there are some extra touches here. So for example, we have a news carousel. We don't have a full bleed image for every uh, news article, but in the background of this zone, there is a kind of back blurred background image of uh, in, um, you know, a motorbike. It's hard to make out, but there is something there that gives texture to this page. And again, supports the sort of the brand and the way that it's added to the internet. Um, and so that that's actually done with something called Section Plus as part of Lightspeed 365. There are other ways to create background images in SharePoint using customizations, but unfortunately it's not something that is available out of the box to do it behind web parts like this. Um, and then on the right, we have App Launcher like we had in the first example I showed, but in this case, it's displayed slightly differently. It doesn't have those tiles and it has icons that are uh, for that particular app um, so that, you know they actually would probably be more recognizable at a glance in terms of where those um, links are leading to. As we go down the page, we see some you know, common types of things like a welcome bar, a people search or people directory. We also have some call outs to some key areas of intranet content. And then we also have some you know uh, pertinent sort of dashboard type information regarding um, you know, information that's important for this organization's operation so or operations so things like when is when is the next parts assessment is probably something that everyone in the organization needs to be aware of because they're all working towards that that, that date um, and also if there's yeah, particular uh, locations of the organization that are important that you might have something like these kind of world clocks there too so it's making again the intranet a a, a dashboard you know a useful daily dashboard for getting an overview of all this kind of information uh, as we go down, you know, the dark theme continues and we have more traditional, you know, like news and um, text links and a searchable how do I guidance database as well. So, yeah, you know, di different purposes for different intranets, the, the things you might have on the page do vary, but you'll see the sort of the overall structure is quite similar. We have some areas which are more image heavy and we use that to convey and connect with the brand and then other areas which are more based around text links. Uh, or even in, in contextual search tools and things like that uh, as you go further down the page. So in the last example here, we see that we've got a fashion brand. So immediately it looks quite different to the others. 
and that's a lot to do with the content imagery so you know i mentioned that when you've got air like big carousels for news and that sort of thing um, and we've also got these kind of big panels for updates with large image boxes for these uh, stories or updates um, it gives you an opportunity to inject you know your brand through the use of the content imagery so that's that's great because it's not just there for decoration you know you are using it as content to um, to convey the brand as part of you know, different stories or updates it's not like it's just the same image that's there for decoration um, but it does depend on you having access to a a good supply of um, on-brand imagery, brand assets, or in some cases you might need to create some of this kind of stuff. Um, but it does really help with making the internet feel on-brand and more engaging. Um, having said that, there are times when it makes sense not to use um, just sort of brand imagery for your content. Um, and that is when, for example, you have um, articles or um, posts about your about colleagues. It could be an interview with somebody at the organization, like a senior leader, or it could be a focus on a particular award, industry award that you've won. In that case, of course, it makes sense to have things like photos of those people. And photos of colleagues is something that really does engage uh, employees when they see people that they know on the internet or other people in the organization they see their faces in in photos and things like that it is something that is proven to be uh, engaging and much more likely to get click throughs and in interest and and then also i'd say on this particular site there's um more emphasis on there being less you know it's less is more to some extent you know i guess it, it connects with the uh, the actual aesthetic of this brand and keep things more minimal um, that's just that's part of the brand and so it makes sense to reflect that on the intranet homepage. I hope those tips have helped you to design an engaging homepage that your employees will just naturally adopt. If you'd like to know more about how we can help you then please reach out to us at www.contentformula.com